Hey, how are we doing? Holmes here, and welcome back to some more Rise of the Ronin boss guy. And today, we are going to be taking on Hikikata and Okita. So, first thing is, you want to hurl the battle at him, so it burns them both. And then, we're going to take on Hikikata first, because he's easier. Um, easier to pay his red attacks, actually. So, let's see. Jumping red attack, I got hit, as I say, is easy. <laughs> it's only like, it just does the red attack right off the bat there. Kick and then a spin. The, the spin will be a red attack, so we can already parry that. And we're using the Hayabusa Ryu style, so we can do an Izuna drop. Jumping red attack, parry that. Izuna drop. See, it does decent key damage and also uh, HP damage. There's a jumping red attack again. I don't know why sometimes the. The super is well. Okay, that double kick and then it's gonna be a red stab. The red stab comes out fairly fast, so. Uh, just no heads up on that one. If, if he starts comboing like that, try to back up. I uh, backed up into wall there, so that was not good. Uh, if you're in mid distance, he might do this red attack where he throws his sword and grabs you, like Scorpion. Uh, that move, if you're not comfortable parrying it, you can actually dodge it back to avoid it. But then again, you can also parry it if you get the timing down. So, there we go. He should be going into key blade now. There you go. Alright, so the move stays the same. Just try not to block too many of them when he's doing one more attacks. There you go, he threw the sword again with the red attack. That's a grab, by the way. So you can parry it. If you block it, it's gonna grab you. When he spins his sword like that, uh, if you're mid distance, most of the time he'll do a slam afterwards. You can parry the slam to stun him. There we go. And there's the kick and the red attack again. See, we're doing good key damage. This key is almost done. There's the red stabbing attack. So there's a red jumping attack and a red stabbing attack. You can just initiate right off the bat. So just watch out for that. Here I blocked too much and he ended up burning me with his freaking flaming swords and almost killed me. Oh my god. I just need to one hit him to break his stamina. There you go. Alright, back to Okita. Uh, his... Fight pattern is more or less the same as the one we fought from before. Well, yeah, from before and also in the anti shogunate route. So, except this time around, he has um, key blades. And we're just gonna bait him. Uh, if he does the stabbing attack, the red rushing stab attack, you can parry that and then he can get Izuna to drop. Um, if he's not doing that, if he's focusing, like, comboing your teammates or comboing you, you can switch over to your teammate and try to. Hit him from behind. Uh, do be careful because he does a lot of like sweeps. So there's a good chance I got killed. Uh, there's a good chance even if you're behind him, he can still clip you when he swings. So just a little heads up. Just get like one or two hits in and a back away. That's probably the safest way to deal with him. Um, like I said, if you can bait this red attack, that is pretty useful as well. And then. I think he can keep going into key blades after his HP drops below 50%. Because he just went into it again after we knocked him out of it. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know, I've always seen him do it. I don't know if this is like a bug or what. But he's always in key blades whenever he drops below 50% for me. So, yeah. Try not to block attacks and just hit him from behind for this phase, in my opinion. And yeah, that is how you take down Hichikata and Okita dual fights. And let's take a look at our setup. So we got the uh, katana here, and here I have the shuriken and a musket. And here's the full ninja set. You can get the ninja set by ranking up Saw and Mora's bond level to max. And here's my stats if you guys are curious on what I have set up. And then the style I'm using, Hayabusa Ryu, and the difficulty I'm on. And yeah, that's basically going to wrap it up for this video. So I thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully this video has helped if you're, stu if you're stuck on these two. And if it did, hopefully y'all will stay tuned for more. But until next time, hope to catch you later. Oops, oops.